Hello everyone, welcome to SML's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a use case of inventory management for machine learning. Inventory management is one of the most common problems businesses face today. Businesses may either over or understock units for a particular item in each store. This may lead to a loss of revenue or higher expenses. To solve this problem, businesses are using machine learning to help predict the number of units that will sell for each item. In our use case, we will be going over retail items for an apparel store. Let's look at an example. A store owner would like to predict how many units he can sell for this dress. The number of units sold may be impacted by different factors such as the location of the store, the date, the price the item was sold at, the number of ads or types of ads he used to sell the dress, and any metadata related to the dress such as color, the size, the type of fabric used, and the style of the dress. As you can see in this sample data set, we have the following fields mentioned above, along with data for many different types of retail items that the business sells. You can see that the data set includes the category and subcategory for each item, along with other fields that I have shown above. I am going to use this data set to train a machine learning model. The machine learning model will then be able to detect patterns in the data set to be able to make various different types of predictions. To learn more about the steps required in a machine learning journey, check out our YouTube video, How to Get Started with Speedvise Machine Learning. Once the model is trained, we can use the machine learning tool SML, which is formerly known as Speedvise Machine Learning, to make our predictions. Predictions on SML can be made manually or by uploading a file. I'm going to cover a few scenarios first for manual predictions. Forecasting units based on ads and promotions. Let's say a business owner would like to forecast how many units they can sell for a particular item based on the number of promotions that they put on Instagram. They can change the number of promotions here and click predict. As you can see, SML will give you the predicted value. The next scenario is forecasting units sold based on location. Let's say a business owner would like to forecast how many units it will sell for a particular type of item in a new store location. They can change the store ID and click predict. The next example is forecasting units based on the price point. If a business owner would like to forecast how many units it can sell for an item based on different pricing strategies, they can change the price over here and see how many units are expected to sell based on that price point. The second way to make a prediction is to upload a file. Uploading a file allows you to put numerous rows of data and you can leave the number of units sold column empty. SNL's algorithm will analyze historic data on units sold for these items and will predict the number of units that each one can sell for. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos on how machine learning can be used to solve different problems, please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel.